Well, praise the Lord. Welcome to Kingdom News Now today. Amen. We are so glad uh, to be coming back to you again this week. Uh, we also want to say we are live right now on Facebook, and so we appreciate all of those that will join us uh, tonight uh, on Facebook as well, on my page anyway, and uh, and so we appreciate that, appreciate the opportunity to be able to come into your home or wherever it is you may be watching this or listening to this uh, program. Uh, we have such, we have so much uh, to Amen. share yes, with absolutely. the folks today. Amen. We've, Amen. we've got some, we've got a word, we've got some scripture we want to share with you, um, but things are going so good for Kingdom News at this point. Yes, yes, um, yes. We are doing great things, and, and God is doing great things. God's doing much, many more great things than we are. Right. <laughs> but <laughs> Beyond. Uh, beyond what we can imagine. <laughs> yeah. Amen. But uh, I do want to tell you that here we are in the auditorium of Exciting Living Word Fellowship once again this week. We were here last week. Uh, we're here this week, and we'll be here next week as well. Um, they are working on our, our studio here uh, on the church property, and uh, so things are coming along nicely there, and uh, you know, it's exciting when we can be able to get into that building yes. and, and such, and so uh, it's looking great studio yes. and yes. we're hoping just in the next few weeks or so maybe Hopefully we'll so. be able to to do something from there amen, amen. also uh, we want to mention to those of you that's watching on Facebook or watching TV either one uh, that we are also on the GER radio station uh, today as well uh, that aired that began last Sunday our program began to air last Sunday around one o'clock uh, central time and so we appreciate uh, Brother Tony Marks uh, yes. with that, yes. uh, do, helping us out with that as well. And, and so uh, the GER can be found on uh, uh, Live, Live 365 is what it is, mm -hmm. Live 365 and the TuneIn station. You can, you can just, I guess you search on TuneIn to, to get the GER, uh, the G-R-R, -R, it's on the bottom of the screen for those of you watching TV, and, uh, but it's the GER, and then also you can go to their website at gospelrockandradio.com, yes. and uh, so you can uh, check out their, their, their genre of music and such, and, and uh, we've got a local band here in Anderson yes. that is also being played on there quite a bit, Absolutely. Uh, and such, and so... Uh, um, Anyway, check them out. It's an online radio station there, and we're glad to be a part of that. And again, on Sundays at 1 o'clock, uh, you get to uh, hear um, this program yes. as well. So Amen. we're glad to be back with you today. Amen. Amen. We're excited. Amen. Beautiful weather. Beautiful weather. Absolutely yes, gorgeous. Yes, yes. Amen. Spring, spring is finally here. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Brother Paul is trying to drop yeah you know but anyway yeah yep. spring is here hallelujah yep you have jack dilday those you don't radio can't see us so uh jack dilday mayor rusty wilson is with us amen and and so we've got some things to share with you today yes. uh we've got number one let me share this because we'll get into this and we won't never stop right. um but lisa and i are going to be at the pursue his presence conference in richmond indiana next week uh and uh and so we're going to leave here like Tuesday or so of, win, uh, of next week, and we'll be there from Wednesday till Friday for the conference. 22 speakers. A lot. In the conference. Powerful word. Powerful word. Hallelujah. Every hour <laughs> of three days, Wednesday, Thursday, and yes. Friday, and then 7 o'clock at night. I think they're starting like at 9 a.m., going to 4 p.m. They give a little break. Get, get dressed and prepared for service that night, 7 p.m., amen, uh, is, is the night services, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We're going to be doing some of the day services, and then we're staying over at, at First Assembly of God in Richmond to do uh, Sunday morning and Sunday night with the church. Hallelujah. And so we're excited about that. We always have a great time when we're at First Assembly in Richmond. And so anybody that is anywhere around Richmond, Indiana, uh, don't miss that conference. It's Amen. going to be awesome. I know most of the speakers that are on there uh, that's listed on that on that uh, conference. So anyway, God's going to show up in Richmond Amen. next week. Amen. Amen. So 
Uh, if you're anywhere around, and it will be, it will be live streamed. Uh, you can search Richmond First Assembly of God Church, and it'll probably take you to their live stream. Amen. So uh, right. anyway, we want to get into some some scripture. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, we want to talk about something that I believe, Brother Rusty, uh, affects everybody's life yes, at some point it does. in time. It does. It does. And you know, uh, the enemy uses this every day. And, but we have to be cautious about what yes. he's doing. That way we don't fall into that area. That's right. He, he, will, he will attack us with this yes. when we're not even thinking about it. No, absolutely not. You know, and then before you know it, we get all caught up and entangled in it. Yes. And then we got a mess. We got a mess. You know, and, and so he, he never gives up. Mm -mm. Amen. But we want to talk about freedom from worry and fear. Amen. Amen. And again, it affects every one of us yes. and can affect, affect us every day. Yes, every day. Every day. Uh, Matthew chapter 6, verse 25 says, Therefore I say unto you, take no thought for your life what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body what you shall put on. Is not the life more than meat and the body the raiment? Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into, into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are you not much better than they? Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? Now, I want to stop right there. It's just a couple of verses, verse 25 through 27. Take no thought, that's what Matthew was saying, mm -hmm. for your life. Or Jesus was saying mm -hmm. uh, in, in the book of Matthew, take no thought for your life, what you shall eat, what you shall drink. Uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, he, he said, take no thought. This is not uh, talking about not having a plan for your life. No, uh -uh. no. You know, we need a plan. We do. We do. A plan of faith. A plan of faith. Yes. With faith. That's right. Yes. Amen. But we need a plan that we can walk out daily. Yes. You know, that's not saying that you don't prepare your breakfast or your lunch or your dinner. Absolutely. Your supper. I always call it supper. Absolutely. Uh, but it's not saying you don't prepare for that. Mm -hmm. But it's not saying don't don't ever think about it. Don't ever think about your life. Don't ever think about what you drink or, or how to clothe your body and, and such. But what he's saying is is take no thought simply means don't worry about it. Right. You know, God's not, going to provide. It. Exactly. Because you think about it, which of you can, you by taking thought, okay, mm -hmm. thought is a can, part of, you can be worrying about it. Yes. Fear. Absolutely. So you take no thought of how it's going to happen because fear and worry is not going to help your growth. That's right. Faith will. Amen. 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 No, not one person has ever grown because of their fear. Absolutely. In fact, in be fact, belittled. if anything, they've they've belittled themselves. Yes, That's exactly. right. Because of fear, fear will will destroy you. Yes. Uh, uh, worry acted upon becomes fear. It does. Yes. You know. So you said, Brother Jack, have you not ever worried about it? Well, of course I have, yes. and I'm sure I will again at some point. Mm -hmm. But. That doesn't make it right just because I have right. or you have. I mean, you know, we have, to, we have to live according to the word as well as what we tell you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, uh, uh, you know, but worry acted upon becomes fear. Yes. We begin to worry about something long enough, mm -hmm. then we begin to be afraid that's going to happen. Exactly right. And the thing about it is, you, you, you start to worry about it, then you, it, once you catch yourself doing it, you say, wait a minute, refuse to fear. Right. Now, you say you do it every day? <laughs> be honest with you. We're working on it. Sure. We're working on sure. it. Sure. Because we're human. I mean, we're Absolutely. Not, being human, being flesh does not, not give us an excuse not to no. worry. But we can work on, we catch ourselves. The Holy Spirit leads us right. to all truth. And when we allow him to lead us to, to all truth, he will minister to saying, refuse to fear. Fear right. not. Because Jesus said that. Absolutely. Fear not. Fear not. Several times. In fact, I've heard 365 times yes. that it's in the scripture Amen. to fear not. Amen. And that's one time for every day exactly. of the year. Every day of the, every yeah. day of the year. Yeah. And, you know, you think about it. When you say, I refuse to fear, doesn't mean you're going to stop fearing at the point. That's time. right. But as you continue to speak it, yes. your ears are hearing what you're saying. Right. So you, you're... Your spirit man has to come in line with what you're saying. As you begin to speak that, yes. 
I will not fear. Yes. Psalms 118.6 says, I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Amen. I will not fear. You say that. You speak that. Yes. Speak those words. And in speaking those things, you hear those words. Mm -hmm. Faith cometh uh, not, not, I mean, faith comes through the hearing of the word of God. Yes. Amen. And, and so we hear the word of God being spoken yes. to ourselves by us, mm -hmm. and it causes faith to grow on the inside of Amen. us. The more we speak the word of God, the more faith begins to grow within us. Amen. And so, uh, you know, and, and again, I don't, I don't want to say that you can't be concerned about right. an issue or about something going on. Right. We can be concerned without worrying about it. Exactly right. Because you can, you, you can be concerned. You can thought, wait a minute, hold on. But you just start praying. Father, yes. thank you. Yes. Thank you. Turn that Turn it. The devil wants us to worry about it. Yes. He wants us to fear, but we just say, Father, this what's on my mind. I start praying. I thank That's you, Father. It. I praise you. Turn it into praise instead of turning it into fear. That's it. That concern that we have for that situation, yes. you know, causes us to pray. Amen. You know, Amen. It either causes you to pray or it causes you to worry. Exactly. One of the two. Exactly. One of the two. That you're either going to worry or you're going to pray. Yes. And if you begin to worry, I said it again. Worry acted upon yes. becomes fear. Amen. You know, we begin to worry about something and we act upon that worry, then then we begin to fear that thing coming to pass. Amen. Of whatever it is we're worrying. You know, we've got a situation going on right now mm -hmm. in our uh, family, my wife's family with her dad, mm -hmm. and uh, he's not doing really good. Those of you maybe that's watching uh, by Facebook, uh, you, if you know him, uh, you know that he's not doing really well uh, today physically. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so that would be cause to worry, yes. especially for his children or family. Absolutely. That would be a cause to worry. Uh, but you know, and I talked to Lisa just a little bit ago, and it's not like he's going to die today. I, I don't, I don't mean for it to sound like that. I'm just saying he's not doing well. He'll be 80 years old at the end of this month, mm -hmm. and uh, just in the next week or two, and uh, and so you know, his his body is is aged, mm -hmm. and so uh, it is enough to concern you. Yes, yes, which should be enough for us to go to prayer. Absolutely, Amen, Amen. You know, it wasn't very long ago that he he rededicated his life to Christ and was was rebaptized mm -hmm. and uh, and such and so we believe he's ready to go. Yes. You know, should God decide to take him home, mm -hmm. then that's fine. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't have to worry about it no, anymore. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. Amen. He'll be much better off than what we are. Yes. You know, when that day comes. But what I'm saying is, is even for his children or for Lisa, for his fa her her family or his family. Uh, does not give us a reason to worry or fear, no. you know. And so uh, when there's situations in our lives that arise, and there will be, there has been, there yes. will be again, probably tomorrow and the next day and the next day, because the enemy is not going to stop. No, he's not going to stop. He's no. going to continue every day trying to get us to worry about something. And Brother Jack, there may be someone watching and saying, how can I not? How can you tell me not to worry? Trust God. Right. Trust God because, here's the thing. Oh, hallelujah, revelation. Yeah. When you worry about something, you're putting your trust in that situation. That's right. Absolutely, so that's if right. you put your trust in God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, Psalms 46, verse 10 says, be still and know. Yes. That I am God. Amen. <laughs> you know, be still and know that I'm God. Yes. And yes. be still meaning don't worry about it. Amen. Just be still. Don't fret about it. You know, uh, just pray. Be still. Just still ourselves. Amen. You know, and pray and know that God's in control. And sometimes that be still is stop. Yes. When you're in a time of concern, you don't know what to do. Stop. Yes. Amen. Just pray. Just pray. Because he's got the revelation. He's got, he, he's got what you need, what we need to say, Amen. okay, what do I need to do now? Amen. Amen. The answer, like, just like Rusty said, the answer is trusting God. Yes. yes. You know, and there's so many Christians, of course, right off the bat, we say, of course we trust God. 
but yet half the church, and when I say church, I don't mean a local assembly. I'm talking about half the body of Christ is on anxiety pills. Right, <laughs> exactly. I, I'm not sure who's trusting who. Right. You know, uh, you know, there's a, a large, a large part of the body of Christ has taken medicine mm -hmm. uh, instead of completely trusting God. Amen. You know, yes, we may trust God to get us up every day. Mm -hmm. uh, we may trust God to, to meet our, our needs mm -hmm. or whatever's going on. But I'm talking about what we're saying is in every situation. Yes. Yes. Everything. Yes. You know, if it, if it affects you, it affects him. Amen. Oh, it does. It does. It does. And when you take that medicine, an idea is that when you take that medicine, you say, I'm taking this temporary. Yeah. This is a temporary That's solution. Right. That's right. God has, God's word is main authority. Amen. This is a temporary solution. Amen. You know, I know both of us take some medications yes. every day. Absolutely. And 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 like I said, much of the church as a whole does. Yes. But much of the world does. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying that we believe yes. that that medication should be a bridge right. to our healing. Exactly right. You know, my mindset is not to stay on this medication mm -hmm. the rest of my life. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. My mindset is, yes, I'm here. Yes, it does help me. At times, my blood pressure gets high or whatever, and, and I, I need to take the pill every day to stop that. Right. But I'm trusting God for total healing yes. where that's concerned, Yes. Amen. where my sugar level is concerned. Right. I'm trusting God you know, for that, where I don't have to do this the rest of my life. Amen. Amen. So, you know, we have to be still and just put our trust and faith in God mm -hmm. and know he's got it in control. Amen. Amen. His word says, trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into thine own understanding. Yes. We've got to, we as a body of Christ have got to stop leaning into our own understanding. Amen. Because when we try to lean into our own understanding, that's when we're trying to figure things out. Yep. That's where we take away trust away from God instead of putting trust in God. Yep. If we say, no, God's already got a plan, and I'm going to trust him Amen. to see me through. Amen. That's it. That's it. You know, and, and even talking about fear, uh, you know, the Bible says to fear God. Yes. Um, Hebrews chapter 4, I believe it is, and we don't have this in our notes, but I believe it's Hebrews chapter 4 that talks about, let us therefore fear God. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not talking about, uh, let us therefore, uh, it, it talks about fearing God. There's some more words in there, and I can't think off the top of my head. Um, but uh, it's talking about fearing God in re reverence and yes, respecting reverence. him. Yes. In, in rever yes. revering him and respecting him, not fearing him, being afraid of God. Uh, right. You know, because God, First Timothy 1 7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, That's right. but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. Amen. 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 So uh, that, that spirit of fear, and I know people that that spirit of fear has gripped. Yes. You know, right now, today, I could call their names. I know them. Yeah. You know, that they are afraid of every little bitty thing. Mm -hmm. You know, they're afraid of their physical health. Um, they're afraid of somebody breaking into their home every yes. night. They're, they're feared. Uh, it, just, it just overtakes them sometimes. That's right. You know, and that's what we're talking about. God's not given us that spirit of fear that causes us to be afraid of everything. That's right. We, we, again, we need to refuse to fear. Yes. I refuse to fear. Sometimes we just got to say, I refuse to fear. I refuse to fear. Because when you sense fear, the enemy's around. Amen. Because he looses, releases fear to try to get our attention and get us concerned, get us worried about something. Especially when you receive a doctor's, report, yes. doctor's report of a family member. Right. Boy, does he not work yeah. fear in there. Yeah. Don't mention the C word. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Don't mention that cancer. Right. You know, and and my mother is in heaven tonight, and I thank God for that. God. Uh, but uh, my mother, for many years after her sister passed away with cancer back in the 70s, mm -hmm. uh, feared that she would have cancer oh, no. in her body. And she never did. Mm -hmm. Never did the rest of her life. She never had cancer at all. But she was afraid that it was going to come upon her body. Right. And, uh, uh, and such. So, so... You know, we have to realize, first and foremost, that fear does not come from God. No. Fear is not a thing that 
well, you know, you got to use common sense, so there's some things you need to be afraid of. No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that's common sense, that's man's common sense and not God's. Right. Uh, you know, we can't, we can't believe that fear, uh, of any part of fear, comes from God except the fear of reverence to him. Exactly. You know, we're not to fear the enemy. And think about it. If it has a name, it has to bow. Come on. That's right. Let me say it again. Come if on. If it has a name, it has to bow. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is yes. above every name. At the name of Jesus, yes. every, every knee shall bow. Every. So get a hold every of that. Every disease. Yes. Every sickness. Amen. Will bow to that name. Will bow. It has to. Amen. Amen. So what we're telling you today, if you're dealing with a sickness in your body or a disease in your body or a situation in your life or in your family, we're telling you that if you will begin to trust God... Yes. Now, I'm not saying you're not trusting God for nothing. I'm saying if you will take that particular need before the Lord yes. and give it to him and begin to trust him with that yes. and refuse, as he has said three or four times in the last 20 minutes or so, refuse, refuse. to worry. Yes. Refuse to fear. I am not going to worry about this. I am not going to fear. I'm going to put my faith and trust in God Amen. and God alone. Amen. Yes, we have faith and confidence in our doctor sometimes. And, and you know, God, uh, Jesus had a disciple that was a physician. That's right. You know, so, so we're not saying medication is wrong. We're not saying going to the doctor is wrong at all. What we're saying is I trust God more than I trust my doctor. That's right. That's it. <coughs> you know? If you think about it, when you get onto your children, you, you kind of get this boldness, mm -hmm. even though it's a child. Right. That's what we need to do with Amen. The, the devil. His, That's right. His tool to say, no, I refuse. I will not Amen. receive it. Let that boldness come up within oh, us. Boldness. Yes. And there is boldness within you. Yes. Every one of you. Every one of us. Yes. All of us. We all have a, 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 some boldness on the inside of us. Amen. And we need to put that boldness to work yes. and let hell know that it's not just about time, amen, that we're going to give up to him anymore. That's right. That's right. We're not going to give it up one more time. We're not going to you know, let him in one more time. That's you know, right. We're going to stand on the word of God. Got to. You know, First uh, John chapter 4, verse 8 says, There's no fear in love, mm -hmm. but perfect love casteth yes. out fear. Amen. You know, and we're not talking about love for a husband and wife or love for son and daughter or son and, and, and uh, son and dad or anything, you know, our children. We're not talking about uh, uh, that type of, of perfect love. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the love of the Father. Yes. Perfect love. Perfect love. He is perfect love. That's First right. John says God is love. Yes. Second John says God is love. Uh, yes. Third John says That's God right. is love. Amen. Amen. So <laughs> he is love. Yes. And, and so perfect love casteth out all fear mm -hmm. when we trust him. Even it. when Jesus said, love one another. Yes. Perfect love. Yes. Love is God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You, don't, you no longer have to be tormented no. by fear anymore. No. That's no. what it says. Uh, perfect love casteth out fear because fear hath torment. Yes. Yes. So you no longer have to deal with the torment any longer. That's right. You can trust God. We're going to pray. Amen. Rusty, I want you to go ahead and pray for these that's watching tonight. Yes. Amen. Those that's watching the program, those that's on, on the girl radio station, those that's watching my Facebook tonight. Amen. I want you to go ahead and pray for them. Okay. Amen. And we're going to bind and rebuke the fear and the torment yes. from you. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Go ahead. Father, we just thank you in the name of yes. Jesus. As we stand together in unity, agreement with those that are watching, those that are listening right now, thank you, Father, that they, yes. the bonus, your bonus will rise up in them, and they will refuse to fear. When they know the enemy is trying to bring someone, they will refuse to fear. Say, I refuse yes. to fear yes. in the name of Jesus. You, this has a name, and it has to bow. We bind and rebuke. Everything that the devil is trying to bring against them in the name of Jesus, what things, what the word of God said, if it's bound in heaven, it was bound on earth. Right. If it's loose in heaven, yes. it's loosed on earth, Father God. So we bind the works of the enemy and we loose the word of God, we loose the spirit of God to minister to them in the name of yes. Jesus, that they are, have the, 
the the ora makayete de makoya matila masiti that they Thank you, will Lord. rise up. Yes, be strong and very courageous and say. I refuse to yes. fear. I refuse to worry in yes, the name Lord. of Jesus. I yes, believe Lord. the report of the Lord, and that's where I stand now, right thank now, you, in the Father. name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, and we bless the viewers. We bless the listeners yes. right now in the name of Jesus. Those that are on live stream, we bless them right now yes, in the name, in the name, of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Touch them. Minister to them. Send, we send ministering angels to minister to them yes. in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, the, our comforter, Comfort them right now in the name of Jesus. We just give you the praise. You, we Father. give you glory in Jesus' mighty Thank name. Thank you, Father. Amen. Amen. Now, if you if you felt the peace yes. of God, yes. if you felt his hand of healing upon your body, yes. if you felt the presence of God in the room yes. where you are, I want you to call the numbers on the screen. Yes. I want you to let us hear from you. I want you to let us know Amen. Amen, exactly what God is doing right there where you are. Yes. Amen. That's all the time we've got today. We've got just about a minute left. And and so we appreciate you being with us today. Those of you on Facebook Live, we appreciate you being with us today. Those of you listening on the Girl Radio Station, we appreciate you. Yes. And those watching TV around the world yes. in 83 different nations with Kingdom News Now today, we appreciate you Amen. as well. Amen. And so so uh, don't forget, Lisa and I is going to be in Richmond, Indiana next week. Uh, we're going to be ministering. We're looking for a powerful, powerful time there. Yes. Uh, this coming weekend, for those of you that's watching on Facebook uh, live today, this coming weekend, Pastor Curtis True will be right here mm -hmm. beginning tomorrow evening, Saturday morning, mm -hmm. and Sun and Saturday night and Sunday morning yes. for our spring Bible uh, conference here in Anderson, Exciting Living Word Fellowship, right here in Anderson, Missouri. Amen. And also Tom and, and Janet Mullins will be here ministering as well. Yes. Tom and Janet are tremendous children's ministries, amen, amen uh, ministers, and uh, they're going to be here with the children each night. But the Tom is going to be ministering Sunday morning service out here in the auditorium. So again, that this weekend, those of you on Facebook listening yes. and watching, this weekend, yes. amen, is our spring Bible conference, Amen. so don't miss that. If you're Amen. anywhere in the area, Pastor Curtis True is a dynamic, powerful man of God. Yes. Brother Tom Mullins, Amen, will bring a word that will change your life. Yes. Amen. Amen. So we love you. We appreciate you. Amen. And until we see you next week, we're going to continue this study yes. next week on Kingdom News Now. Yes. So until we see you again next week, what time is it? It's time to testify. Amen. You got it. Amen. Amen. God bless you. This is Pastor Timothy Randall, the founder of Greater Glory Breakthrough Ministry. You are watching Kingdom News Now. It is time to testify of the goodness of the Lord. Our sponsor this week for Kingdom News Now is Oil & Wine Ministries of Anderson, Missouri. Oil & Wine Ministries is the ministry of Sam and Judy Weaver. It is a ministry of inspirational poems, books, and bookmarks. Check them out at www.samweaver.org or email them at info at samweaver.org. Or for more information, you can call 417-845-3533. We say thank you to Oil & Wine Ministries and samweaver.org for sponsoring this program. This program is brought to you by friends and partners of Kingdom News Now. If you're interested in becoming a partner with us, contact us at 573-840-8888 or email us at kingdomnewsnow at gmail.com.